again we have one important property of t2 space so uh, x and y be any two topological space if capital x is a t2 space then y also will become t2 space if you are constructing the function f between x and y such that the given function f is closed one one and onto that is closed and bijective then this property holds uh, i think uh, i have said in one of my previous video that this property is called as invariant property so the uh, given statement can be rewritten as t2 space is invariant right is invariant under they had given the function is closed and one one onto which is bijection so you can have uh, the statement like this also proof um, they had given x is a t2 space Uh, and f from x to y be a function which is closed 1 1 and on to need to prove y is t2 so for this let's consider any two elements y1 and y2 These are the elements of capital Y. Then uh, there exist distinct elements X1 and X2 in capital X such that F of X1 will be equal to Y1 f of x2 will be equal to y2 because this is by the definition of 1 1 and onto function as you know x is t2 space so we can apply the definition of t2 space uh, for the elements of x that's why i am considering open sets g and h in capital x such that x1 belong to g x2 belong to h such that g intersection h equal to empty because here x1 and x2 are elements of capital x again g and h are open right open sets they are considered open in capital x therefore x minus g and x minus h will be closed sets why we are considering this because in the hypothesis they had given closed right so closed sets in what capital x itself since f from x to y is closed so applying f to the closed sets f of x minus g that will be and f of x minus h so uh, this will be the values so f of x minus g can be written as f of x minus f of g and f of h will be f of x minus f of h but f of x is nothing but y so this will be y minus f of h and this will be y minus f of g why f of x equal to y because f is on to therefore f of x equal to y itself okay so these two will be closed in what closed in x minus g x minus h are closed in x so f of x minus g f of x minus h are closed in y therefore therefore y minus f of g closed in y implies f of g will be open right so f of g will be open and similarly f of h also open so f of g and f of h are open in y 
okay let's combine all these things also x1 belong to g x2 belong to h and g intersection h equal to mt this implies here x1 belong to g so f of x1 belong to f of g x2 belong to h implies f of x2 belong to f of h here g intersection h equal to mt right so here f of x1 is nothing but y1 so y1 belong to f of g f of x2 is nothing but y2 so y2 belong to f of h now we need to find out f of g intersection h f of g intersection h can be written as f of g intersection f of h because the given function f is 1 1 and on 2 you can write the reason f is 1 1 and on 2 therefore f of g intersection f of h will be uh, as you know f of g intersection h is empty so f of empty f of empty will be empty itself thus you can conclude that for any two distinct elements any two distinct elements y1 and y2 belong to capital y there exist open sets f of g and f of h in a capital y such that y1 belong to f of g y2 belong to f of h and f of g intersection f of h will be equal to empty this is nothing but the definition of t2 space therefore y is a t2 space this proves that t2 space is invariant under closed bijection that you can write